Hi guys, welcome to Whiskey Web Wednesday. It's the 25th of January 2022 and it's Rabbi Burns Day. So this is my celebration of Rabbi Burns video. First off, let's start with the haggis. Now this is Scotland's national dish, but what some of you might not know is that it actually started in England. Uh, the first mention of it was in uh, 13th century um, in some English transcript and it was eaten quite commonly in uh, well-to-do English homes between the 13th and 15th century and then in the 1600s it started tapering off and after 1707 um, after the union of Scotland and England um, it became a dish that was mocked by the English. It was something those poor peasants in Scotland ate. Um, just the awful, the tripe, you know, like the, the oatmeal, the spices. See, it doesn't look very glamorous, does it? So you can imagine, um, yeah, people finding this an easy dish to mock. Uh, this is one bought nearby for 22 bucks. This is a couple of kilos of haggis here. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a downtrodden dish for a while, but then Rabbi Burns, uh, Scotland's favourite son, uh, Scotland's national bard, the poet, known all around the world, uh, transformed this dish into a dish of celebration because he saw the beauty in Haggis. He saw how it represented resilience and uh, a good, honest, uh, thrifty nature of the Scottish people. So um, unpretentious, I would say. So he wrote this famous poem called Addressed to a Haggis, uh, so I might as well just uh, recite it to you now. Fair fa, your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race, aboon the ma ye you take your place, pinch, tripe or therm, weel are ye wordy, o a grace, as lang's my arm. The groan in trencher, there ye fell, ye hurdies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend the mill in time of need. While through your pores the Jews distill, ah, like amber beat. His knife, see rustic labordicht, and cut you up with ready slicht, trenching your gushing entrails bricht like on a ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sicht, warm, reeking, rich. Then, horn for horn, they stretch and strive, deal tack the hindmost on the drive, to all this well swell kites belive are bent like drums. The old good man may slight to arrive, but they think it hums. Is there, or his French ragout, or oleo that would start a, start a sou, or fricassee would make her spew, with perfect scunner, look doon with sneering scorn for you, on sick of dinner? Poor devil, see him, o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank, a good whiplash, his meave a knit, through bloody flood, or field to dash, oh, how unfit! But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling urs resounds his tread, clapping his wally neva blade he'll make it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will sned, like taps a thristle. Your powers, who mak mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare, old Scotland wants nae skinking wear that droops in luggies, but if you wish her grateful prayer, gear a haggis. So with that beautiful poem, Rabbi Burns revolutionised Haggis and here we are celebrating it today in the 21st century. So here's to Rabbi, here's to the Haggis, here's to all you guys. Hope you enjoy Rabbi Burns Day and see you next week on Whiskey Web Wednesday. Cheers.